Hi, this is Mr. Wathi, and I'll be going through Lesson 6 of the Stencils Educator's Kit. All right, let's take a look. By the end of, the, by the end of this uh, tutorial, you'll learn to be able to shoot bullets, which makes that fantastic sound, and then be able to kill your enemy with the bullets and giving your enemy a certain hit point value. All right, let's open up the game and take a look what we need to do. Project six. Okay, so first thing we want to do is work on that shooting behavior. So we see in the actor types, we have a bullet actor, right? And we want to be able to shoot that out of our hero. Uh, so we go to actor behaviors, click on new behavior, and let's call it shooting create. So if we take a look at the kit here, uh, it gives us some hints. Um, it wants us to uh, us to attach this to the actor type, okay, um, to the hero. So attach this to hero, awesome. And we can close that down. And it tells us that we want, it says add a keyboard event. So we look, go to the events and we want an input keyboard. And in order to, uh, we, can, we can choose a control, we can go to action one. They say the action one is space bar. If you want to change that, you just go up to settings and then controls. And then right here we see all these different options. I see that there's something called swap. That's for space and action one. I don't like that. I'm just going to delete that. Um, and I don't like that there's two buttons to do the same action. It's kind of strange. So I'll just call action one is space. We can confirm that, close that down. Good. So when action one is press, this will happen. So what do we want to happen? Well, first things first, we want to play a sound. So I'll just type in sound. And I find that's the easiest thing, you know, just use a search menu. Um, sometimes it's hard to find them within you know, all, the, all of these different options. So I'll just go play sound. And what we need to do is click on and choose a sound. They have a sound effect for us right here. Next, we want to create a bullet actor in front of the hero. Okay. So first things first, we want to create an actor. How do we create an actor? Well, let's type in create. We see right here we have create actor type. So let's let's use that. Choose actor type, and we want to create a bullet. So the question is, where do we want to put the bullet? Well, we want to put it where our current actor is. So luckily, under our current actor, there's something called position. So we can actually set this bullet to appear at the position of the X and the Y position of our actor. And let's just test that out as we look at, uh, continue looking on to the next uh, suggestion here. It says it wants us to assign an X, Y speed based on the direction. It says hint, base it on the hero's animation state. So let's take a look here. We can move around. I can press the space bar and we see that we are creating this bullet, but it's not moving. So that's what we need to do right here. We need to create an X, Y speed, okay? based on the direction. So since it's based on the direction, we need to have some sort of if statement. You know, if you're facing forward, go in that direction. If you're facing left, go left. So um, let's see what we need to do. We want equals, okay? And we want this to be, is talking about animation state. So current animation state for actor. Okay, if it is, well, you know, to be honest, I don't know what the animation states are called. I need to look that up. Let's go to actor types, hero, and we see that we have down, left, right, and up. So let's start with down. So if the current animation for the actor is down, we want to set the speed. Whoops, wrong one. We want, um, actually that is the right one. <laughs> we want to set the Y speed, because we're going down, to, I don't know, 30. I'm just testing this out. This It's all about trial and error. Um, for self, no. For the last created actor. Because you want the bullet to be moving, not yourself. So let's just test this out before we spend any more time trying to add some more. And again, as you notice with stencil, this takes a while sometimes. Okay, so I'm going down, press space bar. Perfect. And that seems like a pretty decent speed. Okay, 
Uh, so what I'm going to do now, go back to flow, I'll use this otherwise if. And a little hint here, if you hold on alt, you can click and it just copies that for you. And so I'll put that there and I'll change this to, uh, let's change this to up. And it's key that you get the spelling, you know, uh, capital letters, everything has to be identical to this. Otherwise it will not work. Okay, I'm holding on alt just to copy that down. And we're going in the dire uh, opposite direction. So I'll go negative and I'll just copy this. Um, and then instead of up, let's go right. And this will be X speed. And it'll be in the positive direction. And last but not least, I could just, you know, I could copy the otherwise if, but let's just do otherwise because there's only one other ex option. And that's going to be negative 30. And this is all last created actor. So let's test that out. So one thing you might notice is that the speed here is set within this behavior. Okay, we see this is this works well. Awesome. So again, like I was saying, the speed here is set within the behavior. You might actually want to, you know, if I go to behaviors here and shooting, you might want the uh, to set the speed like right here, just like we did with movement. So how do we do that? Okay, we want to go to attributes. We're going to create a new attribute. And this is really the, the proper way when you're programming something. And so let's just go, uh, you know, bullet speed seems like a pretty logical name. And this is going to be numbers. And you want to give it a default value, you know, 30 works. And so now what I want to do is go to attributes. And now I can use bullet speed for these values. And if you go to math, you can go negate. And so that's just the negative value of bullet speed and we always want to test that out. So the great thing about this, so the same before, if we go to hero and behaviors, we can now set our bullet speed right here. You know, I could set it to faster, so that works. You know, I could set this to 60 and now test game and go from there. So as it loads, let's uh, take a look on to the next point. Okay, yeah, we could shoot our bullets, but they don't do anything to the enemy. Yeah, that's kind of lame. What's one of a bullet if it's not gonna help us? So there we go, we see 60 is a lot faster, almost a little too fast. Let's change it back to 30. Okay, so now what we wanna do is create uh, enemy health. Okay, so we want it so the enemy um, can get hit a few times and then uh, eventually it'll die. Okay, so what we wanna do is go wants us to create a new behavior and call it health points and attach it to the enemy. So go to the dashboard, actor behavior, create a new behavior. It's called health points. And the great thing about creating actor behaviors down in this area rather than directly on the actor is that you can reuse them and you can attach them to multiple actors. Okay. So let's just attach this right away so we don't forget to the enemy. And we want something to happen when the bullet hits the enemy. So you think, what kind of event is that? You got it, collision. Um, I like to use type and type. So this way I could choose, well, when a bullet hits an enemy, this is what's going to happen. Okay, so let's take a look. So we want to decrease the actor's health points when hit. When the health points is less than or equal to zero, the actor gets killed. Awesome. Um, one thing I missed here, we should create a number attribute for health points. So we'll go to attributes, add attributes, make sure this is number. And call it health points. I guess the uh, behavior, I call this behavior health points. Should have been health. That's all right. No big, di no big difference. Okay, and I'll set a default value of three. Okay, so first things first. We want um, health points. So we have, go to attributes. We want to set our health points to minus one of what it is. Okay, so we go set health points to health points minus one. 
and we want to say, well, when the health points is less than or equal to zero, or you could say if the health points are, are less than or equal to zero, kill the actor. Okay, so it's just by speaking that out, you kind of, kind of start to understand what the code should be. It says if the health points is less than or equal to zero, let's grab the health points there, holding on alt. If the health points less than or equal to zero, we want to kill, I think that's under properties, there we go. Kill self, uh, not self. Well, I guess if, if it is attached to this a enemy actor, but the great thing about having both actors there, we can just say kill actor too. Well, let's see what happens. Um, and one thing we should save and also take a look at the enemy make sure that the behavior okay health points is three perfect so let's see what happens it says right here upon running the game you'll find it doesn't work quite ex as expected well let's see what happens bam it dies yeah it's right why doesn't it work why do you think Take a second, think about it before I solve it for you. Okay, see the problem is is the bullet continues through the enemy and it continues it continuously hits the enemy as it goes through it. So what we need to do is actually kill that bullet. Kill actor one. As soon as it hits. And that's the first thing you want to do. So it kills it, it's, it's a no more bullet, and then you uh, take off one hit point. So let's try this out. Um, and you know, you could expand on this. You could have it so the enemy changes um, animation, kind of a hit animation. You could have it so there's a sound effect that gets played when this happens, just like with the bullet. So let's see. One, two, and three, gone. Perfect. So that works. Um, so again, how can we expand on this? We could add sounds, different animations, and, and so on. So I hope uh, that helps. Um, if you have any questions, just write down in the comments. Hope you like and uh, subscribe to my videos. See ya. Bye.